Hello everyone, we will continue the topic conversion routines and in the previous video, we understood the concept. Now what I will do, I will firstly create a executable program. Firstly, we will understand, we will get the expected output. Then I will go for the scenario in which we will not get the output because of the conversion routine only and you will understand fully fully the concept suppose i will go to sc38 transaction code and we will create a program firstly we will go for program then same concept we will understood in more will understand in module pool also suppose I am giving some name to the program. Suppose I am saying Z sales underscore display. I'll put some serial number. It's already existing. I will go for create. I will give the title to display the sales order details. I will choose the type as executable program. I will go for save. Suppose I will take a parameter in the program. I'm giving some name to the parameter type. And I am using data element. What is the data element for sales document number? VBELN underscore VA. Suppose if I will go to SC11 transaction code, I refer data element, and ultimately, data element has a domain, and in that domain, we have a conversion routine. That's why I'm always, always saying go for data element so that all characteristics will automatically come into this particular parameter. Suppose I will declare one structure. Types begin of. I will give some name to the structure. Suppose first column. VBELN. Suppose second column ER DAT. Third column ER ZDT. And suppose fourth column ER NUM. I will end this particular structure. Suppose I will declare internal table and work areas. Internal table, if we are referring structure type, it should be type table of control D. Now I will declare work area. I will write a select query. VBELN, ER DAT, ER ZDT, ER NUM. From which table I am fetching? VBAK. Into table. What is the name of internal table? LT data. Now I will go for where condition. VBELN is equal to P underscore VBELN. We all know input is on the right hand side and as we are going for parameter so we need to use equal to now i will put a loop and display i will go for end loop and i will write a right statement so many times we covered these kinds of things 
now I will go for right statement. Right work area hyphen B B E L N work area hyphen E R tag work area hyphen E R Z D T work area hyphen E R I'll check the syntax V B E L N and activate. I'll just go for selection text, go to text element, selection text. And yes, it is coming from data element. Now, important understanding will start. I'm putting the breakpoint so that this topic will automatically clear. I'm putting a breakpoint. Now I'm run the, running the program. I put sales document number one. It is visible to us. Yes, this is external display format. I'm going to execute. I gave the input one. I gave the input one. Yes, this parameter, we are saying it is referring to this data element. This data element has a domain. Domain has a conversion routine. So firstly, it will convert your value from external to internal. Have you seen when the value converted from external to internal, it is not one, it is nine zeros one, nine zeros one. Most, most important understanding. And see, in our table VBAK, SAP stored nine zeros one. SAP did not store one. SAP stored nine zeros one. And yes, we have nine zeros one. And you can see, we have size sub RC zero. We are able to get the record into the internal table because we passed parameter type data element itself. That data element has a domain. Domain has a conversion routine. So it converted the value to SAP storage format, internal format, and then we are fetching. So there is no problem at all. Nothing. Everything is perfectly fine. Now, so many people, what they will do and because of that, they are not getting the expected output. Now you will see the importance of conversion routine. See, now what is visible to us? One is visible to us. Yes. Nine zeros one has not visible. So SAP again converted internal to external and one is visible to us. Now I will go for another scenario, which maximum people will do the mistake. They will not use data element, but they will think, okay, ultimately the length is 10. It is of character type. So what they will do, they will simply, simply write type C. I will do control D. I will not remove this. I will comment this. They will give the length as 10 and they will do the type as C. They will declare in this way. They are not using data element. So what I declare the parameter, I have not used the data element. It means what the whatever the characteristics are there, because if data element is not there, domain we are not mapping, domain we are not mapping, so conversion routine is not there. Now I will run the program and show you. And we will not get the result. I am giving one. I will go to execute. 
now this one one will remain one only because one will not convert to nine zeros one you can see one is one only but see in the table the value is nine zeros one so whenever this query will execute this query will give the size of rc4 size of rc and many people will ask this question yes we are not getting the expected output we are not getting the result and this is the reason why why we are not getting because they think we pass the right value we pass the exact value but why the result is not coming because conversion routine has not happened at that point of time now we are not getting the result but no problem if by mistake you gone by this way then do one thing at that point of time use the function module or use the conversion routine which will convert from external to internal we all know we can call the function module through which button pattern button so i will you call conversion exit alpha in same which was in the domain it is in the domain itself which is converting from external to internal this is now call this function for and it is required if you are not going for data element if you are not choosing the same to same thing which sap provided so we are passing this input to this function module in the result also we are taking same to same thing then what it will do it will convert one to nine zeros one then we are fetching and then we will get the expected result but ultimately if best practices if data element is there use data element why why we should go for extra coding but yes if by mistake you did this is the way you can resolve the error also if i am running the program if i will go for one if i will show you now you can see as of now we put one this one is going as a input here so now it will convert to nine zeros one nine zeros one and yes nine zeros one will go to vba k table yes it converted now we have the expected result so yes most most important and conceptual topic so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we understood the concept or we understood the importance of conversion routine in an executable program if you are declaring something using data element data element has domain domain has conversion routine so no problem you will face never always always you will get a right result yes if we have conversion exits there but if you are not following data element practices if you are going by your own and if conversion routine is there yes you will not get the expected result in many times many scenarios at that time one option yes change it to data element so that it will automatically take conversion routine or another thing just call those conversion routines which are in the domain this is the way you can reach up to the solution in the next video i will take a module pull program and that is also important because so many participants are not getting the output in module pull program also because of this reason and we will see how how we can come to the solution there also so that's it in this video thank you